Also, the doors at Holy Name are open again to the public. The cathedral closed at 7.30 tonight for a private vigil for priests and seminarians. Blaise Supich, the archbishop, talked about the loss of Cardinal Francis George and his dedication to the faith. His leadership in this country and abroad, his tenacity and courage in the face of great suffering and disability, all merit our great admiration. And we want to show you live pictures from inside the church where that visitation will continue until 11 o'clock tonight. All day, people have been coming and going to say their farewells to Chicago's only native-born Cardinal Archbishop. Police editor Mike Flannery, political editor, we should say, Mike Flannery, talked with those closest to the Cardinal. He joins us from Holy Name with their solemn account of his final days. Dawn, as you can see uh, outside the cathedral here, there is a line of uh, faithful who are going to, they've been waiting for quite some time, some of them, uh, to uh, go in now that the doors of the cathedral are open. At an earlier uh, ceremony this afternoon, the pastor here at Holy Name suggested that uh, being a scrupulous theologian, Cardinal George would certainly have objected to anyone suggesting that he's already in heaven. I knew Cardinal George well enough to be certain that if I were to make that definitive statement, he'd jump out of that casket right now and scold me. Others who knew Cardinal George well said he would have bellowed with laughter at that lighthearted yet profoundly theological observation. Close friends told us this polio survivor's ability to smile and keep working through intense pain was astounding, especially in recent years as cancer spread through his body. Even when his legs were killing him, there he was um, making uh, people feel like they were the only people in the world. Retired Auxiliary Bishop Raymond Geddert administered the final rites to Cardinal George last Friday as he died. The Cardinal wanted us upstairs to pray with him. And we went up there and uh, I anointed him Father Flynn's gave him Holy Communion, and then he started, you know, the heavy breathing, and you knew that it was coming, and uh, uh, so it, it, it was a, a little sooner than we thought, and I think probably that he thought, because he, he, he kind of wanted to live a few more, probably months. He was wishing he could have gone to Rome to see the Holy Father. While that went unfulfilled, Bishop Geddert said the Cardinal did seem to get his wish for a, quote, good death. You could see the breathing slowing down and then stopped. And uh, I, I suppose, if anything, we probably, for his sake, were relieved that he didn't have to suffer any longer because he looked very peaceful. And the, uh, that look of uh, peace is on the uh, Archbishop's, uh, the Cardinal Archbishop's face uh, as he uh, lies uh, here where uh, many are still in line to uh, say farewell to him. This farewell continues tomorrow, the funeral and the burial ceremony on Thursday. Dawn and Jeff, back to you. All right, Mike Flannery, thank you. Condolences are pouring in from religious leaders around the world. Pope Francis said he was saddened to learn about the death of Cardinal Francis George. His tribute to the late Cardinal George is posted on Archdiocese this web page. In part, it says, I join you in commending the soul of this wise and gentle pastor to the merciful love of God, our Heavenly Father. To all who mourn the late Cardinal in the sure hope of the resurrection, I cordially impart my apostolic blessing as a pledge of consolation and peace in the Lord. More visitations are planned all day tomorrow. The funeral service will be held on Thursday at noon. We will carry the service live here on Fox 32. It will be followed by the burial service at All Saints Cemetery and Des Plaines. We will stream that part of the procession on myfoxchicago.com.